It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. Now recently I was asked how do you keep locks moisturized without getting them fuzzy? So in today's video I will be sharing with you how I moisturize my son's 6 months comb coil starter locks. So let's get into it. Now to moisturize his comb coil starter locks I am using water to hydrate his strands. The Hair We Grow hair oil to seal moisture into his scalp and combat any dryness he may experience in between wash days. And the Hair We Grow moisturizing hair butter to fortify and seal his cuticles to lock the moisture into his starter locks. Now I will not be using all four butters however I am just showing you the range so that you can have an idea what you can select from. Okay, so to moisturize his starter locks, I am using a small amount of the moisturizing butter to coat the entire surface of his head. Now, you may want to be careful not to use too much as excess product can attract lint and other environmental particles to the locks, leading to buildup, something we want to avoid on our lock journey. However, if I find that a particular section hasn't been coated well, I'll go back in and add a bit more to that section. Now, I don't usually find this necessary since I follow up by oiling the scalp which further seals in hydration as I massage the oil into the hair and scalp to allow deeper penetration which benefits both the scalp and the length of his star locks. So after sealing his cuticles with the moisturizing hair butter, I go ahead and section his star locks so that I can apply the stimulating oil to his scalp. Okay, so throughout the years of sharing mine and my children's lock journeys, this is a question I would get often. And as I've shared before, frizz or fuzziness along your lock journey is quite normal and should be embraced, as eventually these loose hairs will smooth the surface of your locks, giving your locks that uniform look, concealing the method used in forming your locks, whether you had started with the um, two strand twist starter locks or braids or comb coil. However, to moisturize locks to minimize frizz is pretty much in the retwisting technique, which comes down to twisting or rolling the loose hairs in the direction of the starter lock formation. So you definitely want to pay close attention to the way in which the comb coils were started or the two strand twists were started. Now, I have to say, the person who did ask this question had bleached their locks, which slightly changes the answer to this question. So, although frizzy or fuzziness along your lock journey is normal, and the best way to combat frizzy slash fuzzy locks is keeping the hair moisturized, I have to note that when you bleach the hair or color the hair, this causes more frizziness due to the chemical changes that has taken place within the cuticle layers of the hair, which changes the porosity of the hair from low porosity to high porosity. Now the reason why the porosity changes is because the protein bonds in the hair's cuticles have now been damaged, allowing for moisture to not only easily enter the hair, but also easily escape the hair as well. Now in order to assist with repairing the protein bonds and reduce frizz so that the hair does not only look dry or feel dry, doing protein treatments every 4 to 6 weeks is necessary, as well as doing weekly deep conditioning treatments. And of course, I finished up his moisturizing routine with a fresh retwist. Now, if your hair is not bleached or colored and you would like to understand why frizz occur, then go ahead and check the cards listed above as well as in the description bar below. And if you found today's video very helpful, please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, I will be right back here with another one.